All right, let's talk about the three main variables that you're in control of that are going to affect the profile of your welds that you're putting down and the overall quality of your welds in general. Those three things are arc gap, travel speed, and travel angle. And these are the three things that for beginning welders are typically kind of out of whack that will um, you know, give you less than desirable uh, quality to your welds. So if you're seeing these, if you're seeing things that you're not liking in your welds in terms of, uh, you know, your profile doesn't look right, um, things of that nature, uh, the size of your weld doesn't look right. Um, these are things that you can go back and break down uh, one by one and just kind of take a look at what you're doing to see if you can improve uh, the, the profile of your welds. All right, so we're going to start with the long arc first. When you hear this popping, that's pretty indicative of a long arc. It has a hard time starting the current. When we're way out here, and we hear it slow down quite a bit. Then when you bring it in nice and close, you get to that sweet spot. Now you can hear that it's running all perfectly. All right, so we can see when we started out with the long arc, we've got this real high uh, convex look to the bead. We've got lack of fusion on the edges. We got some wire because it wasn't really uh, wanting to get the arc started and be stable. And then as I bring the uh, arc spacing in nice and tight and we hit that sweet spot, uh, now we got a really nice profile to our bead. All right, the next thing that we're going to talk about is travel angle. And this is something that we see new welders especially uh, sort of forget to keep an eye on that travel angle as they're progressing through their weld and keep it the same. Instead of keeping it the same, they tend to pivot through the weld and end up almost to a push angle as they uh, complete that weld. So uh, you just want to keep an eye on that. Try to not have too extreme of an angle. Uh, as you go through uh, your weld and also not to change it as you uh, continue through that bead. All right, so we're going to start off with the proper angle. As you can see, we're getting a good profile here, but now we're going to start to turn our wrist and transition out of this angle. All right, so we can see that we started off with a good profile and it's very consistent for the first inch and a half or so. And then as we started to pivot, uh, we started to change the profile of the bead. So in order to have a consistent weld from start to finish, we would need to keep that same 20 degree drag angle all the way through our, our bead rather than changing it. All right, so now the extreme drag angle. So when our drag angle is too extreme, our travel angle, uh, the wire starts to kind of pile up on top of each other. So then we end up with a more convex, really high look to the bead. And really we're going to end up with lack of fusion on those edges. All right, and the last thing is travel speed. And what I see a lot of new welders doing, especially when they first start out, is, is going too fast. Uh, so we really have to wait for that weld pool to start to fill up and then we just want to keep that travel speed consistent to get the same consistent size of the bead as we go across and progress through the weld. So not too slow and not too fast. And again, typically what I see is too fast to begin with. All right, so I'm just going to show you what the weld bead will look like if you go too fast. And then I will also show when you go too slow what the profile will look like. All right, so when I'm going a little too fast, we can see that I have a very narrow sort of stringy look to my bead. Um, we're still seeing some, you know, consistency throughout this, just couldn't help that. But really overall for this thickness of plate, this would be an uh, undersized weld. So uh, just a little too fast travel speed, we want to slow down and let it fill up a little bit more. 
All right, now for the bead that's too slow. All right, so this is the one that we kept our travel speed way too slow, and we can see that the, our weld is starting to pile up quite a bit. It's really convex look to the face of our weld. And then we're also getting overlap, especially on this bottom toe. And then also we're just putting way too much heat input into our plate. So, uh, you know, that's gonna add distortion. It's, it's just gonna give us all kinds of problems in terms of uh, adding too much heat and uh, over welding. Uh, what we actually need uh, to put down an acceptable, uh, efficient, strong bead. All right, so always remember with any process that we want to keep an eye on arc gap, travel angle, and travel speed. Those are the three things that we always want to look at that we're in control of that will make a difference in the welds that we're putting down. All right, we'll see you on the next weld.